everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to prepare another random dessert which means that Alexa chose a recipe from one of my books for me and that is what I will prepare. Today's book is called Japanese Patisserie and I got this book from Amazon because of this series. Uh, yeah, I suppose I don't have enough cookbooks to <laughs> work with and I have to get more and more. Anyway, so here is Alexa choosing a recipe for us. Give me a random number between 30 and 172. Your random number between 30 and 172 is 143. Alexa? Give me a random number between 1 and 2. Your random number between 1 and 2 is 1. So, uh, the recipe that she chose is sesame peanut cookies and I am very excited about this because this is not a hard recipe as I've seen. Let's get on with it! When it all would start again You said, how did you get in here? You have no right She said, I've decided You'd like to have some company tonight Yes. 
this recipe has turned out really good and I took it to the office and the colleagues loved it as well the recipe will be in the description down below and um, I think this is something you can make uh, at home this is one of the easier recipes in this book I'm so glad that we are starting out with this one and not one of the most complicated ones that call for very exotic ingredients. I mean exotic in the sense that I'm in Germany, so I don't have easy access to all the Japanese ingredients that um, some recipes need. Um, the dough is a bit hard to work with, uh, but uh, if you follow the instructions and you actually put it in the fridge and, and try to smooth it out like that between the two papers, it's going to go fine. The fact that you can uh, just put on the sesame seeds when the, the whole dough is rolled out but still one piece is a great thing. Mine did not stay in one piece after I put it in the fridge because I basically had to fold it in half to fit it in there. So, um, word to the wise, um, if you have a small fridge, maybe, maybe just divide the dough and make smaller pieces so that you can actually put them in flat so that they stay in one piece and you don't have to break them apart and then remold them like I did. Uh, also, you, I was supposed to put the sesame seeds on before I put it in the fridge so that it can mold into the dough, but since I had to reform it a bit anyways, it wasn't a problem for me. But do pay attention to that because it makes your work and your life so much easier if you actually follow the recipe properly. Um, I can recommend this. I will definitely make this again. It has been awesome. It's a great recipe. So thank you very much for watching and if you like this video, press the like button and the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye!